back, and this is the follow-up up episode. Okay, so this one I want to talk about. Um, <clears throat> let me let me show you. Uh, you uh, I click basically on the hero section. Let me turn the volume down. It's way too loud. Alright, so you go to inventory, and you click on relics, and you have all these beautiful relics here. These are basically <clears throat> um, allow, if you collect enough relics, you can actually either summon the hero or uh, evolve the hero, okay? So, for example, <clears throat> for example here, um, Jocasta. I have 24 out of 40 relics. She is a regular um, hero. I already evolved her once. Once you collect 40, you can actually evolve her. Uh, and you, Your star will go from 1 star to 2 star, from 2 to 3, so on and so forth. So right now I have 24 out of 40, okay? And let me go back to the inventory. This is a... Uh, Okay, so all these are all the relics and troops. You have also troops relic as well. And then you, down here, you see here, this is the scrolls. Okay, all of them have some sort of scroll. Yeah. And these scrolls, you can use it to awaken your hero. And what I mean by that is, let me go back again and show you guys this. You see that this is Nestor. Nestor is already, is ready to be uh, awakened. Okay. So all you have to do is collect ten of those scrolls. Okay, let me let me go to her. Jocasta here, you cannot awaken her because her rank right now you see rank nine illusion. I mean not illusion, Ill illustrious champion. The next rank is rank ten, which is eminent champion. Now your heroes start from you know different rank levels. Okay, here is a rank seven divine protector, and basically the way you rank them up. Is by using um, stones, uh, and you collect stones from your battles, and we'll go in the battles later. But you collect those stones from battle, and then you you see that down here there's the four plus sign, four plus green sign, uh, like um, across from each other, in a horizontal direction. If you click on it, these stone pops up. It tells you what stone you need, that shape of the stone right there. And you click equip, you equip it. I'm not going to equip them because I don't want to waste the red stone, purple stone, or pink stone, purple stone, whatever you want to call it. They are more valuable. And um, you have different type of stones. I can show you that as well. So you got blue, purple, pink, uh, green, and so on. <clears throat> anyway, so once you collect, every time you uh, give the, the hero the stone that it needs, it will rank up. So now he's rank seven. This is rank eight and eight eight. She's rank nine, and then Nestor is already rank ten. So when he hits rank ten, you can start the awakening process, and you need to collect ten scrolls. Um, ten scroll. Let me let me show you. Let me click on relics. Relics here. Nestor, Nestor, where are you at? Nestor, right here. Nestor here. We see in stock we have ten. So. Now, once you have enough scroll, you can awaken him. This is my first hero that I awakened too, so I'm very excited. Um, so let you click conjure, and your hero will actually change. See, he become very uh, icy, lots of ice. So while awaken your hero, it will get strong. Okay, so frost awakening, and then you click start. I don't know what this is, but we're gonna go. Unshackle Nestor from sh okay barrier and waken the true hero. Okay, so you have two days to battle him off To battle and if you win, I assume you will get him awakened <clears throat> All right, wish me luck If I don't awaken him, I'll be very pissed Because it costs a lot to get those scrolls by the way they don't come easy All right, so Okay, no, let's keep him there. You know what we're gonna do? Okay. <clears throat> you know what, let's switch. Let's have, okay, let's start this way. 
and I think you get oh wow 1.63 million damage Jesus Christ so I guess you have to take them down all the way to zero wow we just got destroyed Wow, we barely did any scratch. Okay, so let's go ahead and resume. And it costs you 20 um, food every time. Uh, ten, it, it goes up 10, 20, uh, so on and so forth. Okay, so we're going to do this this way. And I assume if you don't um, awaken Nestor by the, the end of two days, you will not get him. So it sounds like this is, could be a pain in the butt. So it looks like I'm going to spend all my food trying to awaken him up. <clears throat> this video might be uh, way too long. So we'll see what we can do here. We're just trying to survive this point. He's at 7.9%. Oh man, this is going to be very costly. What if we're trying to plank him? What if we're trying to plank Nestor? Flank, I mean, not plank. Let's do this. Well, that sure is a. Uh, no, that didn't work out too well. <clears throat> We're about to run out of food, so that's not good. So I'll, you know what? I'm gonna. I'm probably gonna end up have to. Uh, we uh, we uh, come back later on and show you guys the uh, aftermath, I guess. I don't have any more heals, so... <laughs> okay, we don't have any more food, that's insane. Alright, so let's... We got some mission done. Let's claim all that mission. And while we do that, well, let's go ahead and uh, put these guys in here. This mission basically just give you random uh, stuff. We got 60 food, so we got one more try left to waken up Nestor. All right, Mr. Nestor. And when you waken him, he will gang. Uh, the fifth ability, which is a lot stronger, uh, a lot better, I would say. All right, you know what? Let's put her over here. Well, we're not gonna stand a chance. Oh my god. Alright, so that's all the food that we get. We managed to target about 23.8%. So it looks like if we save up all of our food, we should be able to bring him down and awaken him up in the next two days or so. Alright. 
Uh, so that's pretty much it for this video guys. I just want to show you up the awakening process and I'll come back later with another video to follow it up. Um, besides that, yeah, thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.